Hello everybody! It's Music on Loop, the Story Sister, Story Sister, Story Sister. It's Music on Loop, the Story Sister. Welcome friends! Welcome everyone to Music on Loop and Stories and Stuff. I'm Miss Kathleen and Slim the Guitar here wants to go round the mountain. Come on along! Go round the mountain. The other way, go round the mountain, go round the mountain, Now if you were going around a mountain as quietly as you could, how would you do that? Maybe on your tiptoes? Okay, everybody on your toes. Wonderful. Now, if you were going around the mountain as loudly as you could, how would you do that? Stomp? Yeah, let's go. Stomp around the mountain. Stomp around the mountain. Oh, wonderful. I bet you that sounded nice and loud. It's fun, isn't it, to move like that? different ways. It's also fun, I think, to sing some of those songs with the, the nonsense words. Toe tea tiddlum. <laughs> That's good. Well, we had some fun last story time, didn't we? We found some of Bingo's letters. Actually, we found the G, didn't we? Yes, right there. Now we just have one more letter to spot. And that's that letter O, so be on the lookout for that, friends. I also had fun showing you my flower pot. I planted some flower seeds a couple of weeks ago, and I'm waiting for something to come up there. And uh, it's in the meanwhile, um, I also... It reminded me of another frog and toad story. Yes, this one from the story of the storybook Frog and Toad Together by Arnold Lovell. And uh, I had so much fun reading a chapter from the book Frog and Toad Our Friends by Arnold Lovell. I thought it would be fun to share chapter from this one which is one of my favorites and this one happens to be called the garden frog was in his garden toad came walking by what a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog, it is very nice, but it was hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. How soon? asked Toad. Quite soon said Frog. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, now seeds start growing. Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing! Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? he asked. My seeds will not grow. You're shouting too much, 
said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow? asked Toad. Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. That night, Toad looked out of his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad read poems to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad played music for his seeds. What is he playing? He's playing a violin. Toad looked at the ground. The seeds still not did not start to grow. What should I do? What shall I do? said Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. And Toad felt very tired and he fell asleep. Toad! Toad! Wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up of the ground. <gasps> at last, shouted Toad. My seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. But you are right, Frog. Yes, said Toad, but you are right, Frog. It was very hard work. <laughs> and that's the garden from Frog and Toad together. Another Frog and Toad book by Arnold Lobel, courtesy of HarperCollins. Thanks to HarperCollins for allowing us to read stories that they have published. So, wow, well, I wondered when Toad was singing a song to his seeds, what song might he have sung? Can you think of a song that you would sing to your seeds to help them grow? Hmm, maybe I should sing a song to these to help them grow. Hmm. Grow, grow, grow your seeds, grow and grow all day. Go and grow and grow and grow merrily all the way. No? Well, maybe I could play a, play a song, play some music for the seeds. And I know I have right over here, pardon me a moment, a musical instrument that Toad had. Do you remember what it was? A violin, yes. So let me see if I can think of, let's see if I can think of a, a, some music to sing or to play.
is a song called Oats, Peas, Beans, and Barley Grow. And we can move to it. I'm going to set this violin down a moment. And it goes like this when you move to it. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Can you make a sign for grow? Ah. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? First the farmer plants the seeds. Then the farmer pulls the weeds. He stunts his foot and claps his hands and turns around to look at the land. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? First the farmer plants his seeds, then the farmer pulls the weeds. He stamps his foot and claps his hands and looks, turns around to look at the land. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Oh. So, well, what have we here? Hold on just a moment. I'll be right back. my violin grow up while we were singing and moving? Hmm, it sure looks like a violin, doesn't it? It has the same kind of long neck that the violin has. And we didn't count the strings on the violin, but as I recall, the violin had one, two, three, four strings. And this instrument does too, but it doesn't sound at all like that violin. Well, this is not a violin grown up. This is actually another instrument in the string family of instruments. This one is called a double bass, and it's shaped a lot like a violin, and it has some of the same sound holes and things. But with musical instruments, a lot of times, the bigger the instrument, the deeper the tone it can make. So this one has some really deep tones, doesn't it? Well, I happen to know a song that I can sing while I'm playing this big bass, and maybe you know it too. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know Would you like to sing along with me? Let's try it. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh, wow. Wow, thank you very much, double bass. Wow, it is very tall. Taller than I am, that's for sure. So I have to be very careful when I set this down here. And then we'll also give another look at this violin. You see, it has the same neck as that double bass and four strings. Yeah. Mm-hmm, two little sound holes. And I can pluck this instrument too. And pour a plate with the, the bow, the bow. 
the, the, the base has a bow too. But uh, we'll have to look at that maybe another day. But well, that was cool. Well, you know, some things grow and some things don't grow. A violin can't grow into a double bass, but a little seed can grow into a plant. Let's see how our plants are doing here. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> There's something growing in there. Ah, well that's encouraging. And just like seeds, we can make letters and they can grow into words. Matter of fact, I have a couple of letters back here. I have the letter R. And I have a letter W. You knew those letters, didn't you? So I can take these letters and grow a word. Matter of fact, we have a word right here, don't we? G-O is go. But now all I have to do is plant a letter right there. And plant another letter right here. And I've got another word. And that word is Grow, grow. <laughs> wow. You know what? I think you can grow some letters into words this week. And uh, speaking of letters, I have not seen another letter O anywhere, have you? So if we say hello to Bingo, I think we're just going to have to use our hands to clap that last letter. Unless you can find something. I certainly haven't. Well, let's say hi to Bingo anyway. And sing his favorite song. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G. 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 And Bingo was his name. Oh, good job singing. Here comes Bingo. Oh, Bingo. Oh, Bingo. <laughs> no wonder we couldn't find that letter. Oh, it's on your head, Bingo. <laughs> oh, you knew that, didn't you? You're just having some fun with us. Well, you can put that right on your dog house here. So now you have all your letters. <laughs> oh, well, you're very welcome. And uh, all the people that are at home have helped to put all your letters back together. <laughs> oh, we have homework too. Well, do you mind if I tell what the homework is? No, you don't mind? Okay, well, thanks, Bingo. Back in there you go. Now, oh, next time we sing Bingo's song, we'll have all of our letters back. And Bingo said that your homework this week is to grow some words. So if you have a little stem, let's see, I'm going to turn this here. Here's a little stem of a plant. And you can take some letters, and it's really easy to cut these little leaf shapes if you want to cut some leaf shapes out. Let me show you. I just folded some paper in two and made a little curve. And then when I open that up, it's a leaf shape. And I put some letters of the alphabet on my leaves. There's a C, there's an A, there's a T, here's an H, and you can grow words 
out of letters. H A T spells hat. That's right. So you could put different alphabet letters on the leaves and you can make your words grow. <laughs> So, well, that's been fun. I hope you enjoyed story time this week. And I'm so happy my plants are starting to grow. And maybe if you've planted some seeds in your garden or in a pot that they're growing too, I certainly hope so. Well, and thanks for joining me for story time. I miss everybody at the library. So I'm glad that we can at least connect this way through video. Let's sing a goodbye song now with our goodbye hands. By and by, by and by, star shining, number, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, oh my. By and by, by and by, oh my. By and by. Have a good week. Keep a song in your heart and hope to see you again.